Little Jig, Four State Trucks, home of the Chrome Shop Mafia. Today we're going to take you through the process of polishing aluminum. We'll be demonstrating the technique on an aluminum fuel tank, but the same process applies to any aluminum part you want to polish, like your wheels or your toolboxes. We're going to start by going over what you're going to need for this project, how to properly set up your tools and buffing equipment, then we're going to talk a little bit about safety gear. After we go over all of that, we're going to get down to business. We're going to show you how to make your aluminum shine. What you'll need is safety gear, including a face shield or goggles, and a respirator, a variable speed grinder, safety flanges and hardware, bar rouge, cutting wheels, cotton muslin buffs, metal polish, and microfiber polishing towels. Lay the grinder on a flat surface. Please make sure the machine is unplugged from any electric current. Screw the threaded extender onto the machine spindle. Make sure the extender is securely tightened on the spindle. Place one of the flanges onto the spindle with the raised portion facing up. Next, place the buffing wheel on the flange. Today we are using the Zephyr Yellow Airway buffing wheel. The other flange is now placed on top of the buffing wheel, making sure the raised part of the flange fits into the hub of the buffing wheel. Next, we place the hex screw with the washer through the buffing wheel and thread it into the extender. Finally, we use a 3 8 inch hex wrench to securely tighten the safety flange assembly and buffing wheel to the extender and the machine spindle. Parts and manufacturers do differ, but what we're doing is we're sandwiching the buffing wheel in between the two safety flanges. The most important part of any do-it-yourself project is safety. Safety is the top priority in our shop, and it should be in yours too. What you will need for this job is a face shield or safety goggles, and a respirator. You can pick these items up at any good hardware store. For safety purposes, Hold the rouge bar down firmly on the ground with your foot. Touch the rouge bar with the outside edge of the rotating buffing wheel until rouge adheres to the wheel. The rouge bar should be placed on white paper or cloth to keep it clean. The shine is created by letting the buffing compound do the cutting and polishing, not by how much pressure is applied against the metal surface. Polish your fuel tank by sections. Start from the top or bottom. Use a smooth left to right polishing motion. Make several passes to create a clean shine using overlapping motion. In this demonstration, we are only polishing a small portion of this fuel tank. You will use the yellow cutting wheel over the entire surface you wish to polish using the procedure we have just shown you, making sure to reapply rouge as needed. After you've gone over the entire surface with the cutting wheel, replace the cutting wheel with the white finishing wheel. You will want to use a white rouge for this part of the process. You will use the same technique for application of the rouge and for polishing as you did with the cutting process. A quick word about rouge types and uses. Brown rouge is for primary cutting, green rouge for intermediate cutting, and white rouge is for your final finish. Now that the cutting and finishing is completed, the aluminum is still dusty and the pores are filled with caked oxidation residue. To remove the residue, apply a liquid polish compound such as Zephyr Pro 40 Perfection Metal Polish with a microfiber towel. Rub until the surface becomes dark. Allow the compound to dry and then wipe it off with the soft, dry microfiber towel to achieve a clean, brilliant shine. You can see here what we started with and where we are after we polished. Today we showed you what tools and equipment you need to polish your aluminum parts, how to assemble your grinder to be a buffing machine, what safety gear you need, and specifically how to make the aluminum on your rig shine. We hope you've enjoyed learning with us today, and from everyone here at Four State Trucks, home of the Chrome Shop Mafia, stay safe out there on the roads.